Happy New Year, everyone. We are starting this year off right with two videos this week. And the first one you're watching right here, right now, I had a ton of fun making this kind of crazy 3D shop sign behind me right there. And then the second one, I've got a bunch of renovation updates to share with you. So let's dive into it. So today we are making a Home Depot run because I got to pick up some MDF boards to do a little shop sign project. So Invenables, who's a digital fabrication company based here in Chicago, sent me this awesome new CNC machine, the X-Carve Pro. I'm long overdue getting a video out using it. So I got to make a shop sign, but we also got to keep cranking on the Reno. So the idea this time is that I'm gonna try to let this robot do a lot of the work for me. At the same time as it's working, I'm gonna go get some stuff done for the Reno. So it's kind of like being in two places at once. I don't know if you guys can hear me with the, uh, the mask on, but we're gonna do our best here. The cheapest route would be to buy full four by eight panels of MDF, but I wanna spend some time doing other Reno stuff instead of breaking down boards and hassling with loading four by eight sheets onto the roof of the GTI. So I'm just gonna buy a bunch of two by four project panels. I'm paying for convenience. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll go check out real quick and uh, about a five minute drive and I will see you guys at the workshop. We are back at the makeshift desk to look at a little bit of work that I accomplished over the Thanksgiving weekend while I was at home away from the shop. So I used my favorite 3D modeling software, Fusion 360, to design this sign for the shop. So tangent, since the building is technically not abandoned anymore, we got to come up with a good name for it. I was kind of thinking just Medustrial HQ or I don't know. Put that on the back burner, but we do gotta come up with a name for this place at some point. This is actually iterating on a past project. I made these shelves, but imagine now you're gonna have industrial letters inlaid into that wave on the wall. We're gonna 3D print those letters out of white filament so they're semi-see-through. And then I think we're gonna try to backlight them with LEDs so the sign lights up real cool. I'm a All right, just got the uh, first couple pieces off the machine and they are looking really, really nice. Now it's just uh, rinse and repeat five more times. So I'm gonna apologize in advance to just about everything in this entire workshop, which is about to get coated in a fine layer of MDF dust. And I'm doing it all, all for you guys to get this tasty, spicy slow-mo footage. We got all the pieces cut here. Off camera, I cut up this board. There's two of these, these little slots that are basically gonna hold all the pieces in place on the wall. And now we gotta get all these MDF pieces ready for paint. First, we just get rid of the tabs with some sandpaper and a chisel. And those are just what held these MDF pieces to the main sheet as it was being cut on the CNC so they didn't 
go flying off everywhere. And then we come back with some sanding sealer. This stuff basically just dries in like 30 minutes and makes it so it's really easy to paint MDF. Otherwise, paint kind of gets absorbed in and you need a ton of coats on MDF. So we got the sander sealer on there, it's dried, and now we're gonna throw a little primer on it and then spray paint it like a gradient color. Hopefully I'm better at painting that gradient than I am at juggling. So I am out of white primer and unfortunately, the city of Chicago actually has banned all spray paint, so I have to mail order it, which means we're gonna come back in a couple days and finish this. I got all the pieces nicely primed, time to paint them, and we're gonna go with some Chicago flag colors here. I'm gonna try to do like a gradient pattern, and the main issue with painting them that I see is when they're lined up side by side, it'll be tough to get paint down into the bottoms of the sides between the pieces. So I'm gonna put one coat of paint on them while they're on their side, lying on the ground, just to cover up the white. Then I'm gonna assemble the thing and put the second coat over all of it and hopefully get a nice even coat that way. Got one side painted here. Gotta flip it over, paint the other side off camera, and then we'll assemble it and paint the front. back down in the workshop and I gotta cut out a backer board for the 3D printed letters. So this backer board just is gonna have a slight cavity cut in the shape of each letter so I can just place the 3D printed letter in there. It'll fit perfectly, align them nicely. I can use the exact same model that I did for the letters itself, just send it to the X-Carve instead of the 3D printer. Pretty cool how you can do all that stuff with digital fab, I gotta say. We're gonna do a little experiment here because I am in kind of a hurry. I put some of the sanding sealer 
on this because it dries in like 30 minutes. I didn't put any primer. I'm just gonna try the graffiti spray paint right over it. That stuff is super pigmented. So I'm kind of hoping that it'll be okay without the primer. We will find out. So now it's time to attach the 3D printed letters to the sign. Now, if you notice, I left the letters hollow because I really wanted to put LEDs in them. There's just not gonna be time right now. So what I'm gonna do is just attach them to the sign with hot glue. They're really light, so that should hold it fine. And hot glue is kind of not a permanent form of attachment, so I can pull them off later and put LEDs in. Can't do it right now though, because I've got to get back to doing more important reno stuff moving into the new year. hope you guys are digging the sign as much as I am. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. This is gonna most likely be the backdrop in a lot of my videos since this is where I do my talking head stuff. Make sure you check out the latest abandoned building renovation video which is uploaded right about the same time as this one. That's it for this time and I will see you next time.